morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever and whenever you find yourself. Fudge Dice Roll here, and we are back farming in Iowa Plains. Guys, uh, we are here. We're on field seven. It's a bright, sunshiny day, beautiful day. Great day for us to be out here running our cedar for the very first time uh, after our little snafu back in November. <laughs> we can finally go ahead and put some oil seed radish down on this field and that is what we're going to do i'm going to go ahead and cut myself in a little headland here and then we'll uh we'll, we'll go down uh we'll go uh north to south on the field instead of east to west so i just wanted to go ahead and give myself a little area to turn since we have this kind of uh cliff sort of berm area here by us so let's go ahead and get that started It looks like whoever is in the field next to me, are they potentially doing a root crop? What do you guys got going on over here? It looks like everything is potatoes. Ooh, you guys are crazy. That is an absolutely massive field for, for, for potatoes. That is humongous. <laughs> nope, 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 nope. I don't want to be you guys come harvest time. All right, let's go ahead and give ourselves one more pass down and back. Uh, it's just getting used to this kind of articulating tractor, man. I, I don't, I don't really drive these too terribly often, and uh, well, you know, it was a good deal. So it's just something I'm gonna have to get used to driving, right? It's just uh, that back end of it just seems real bumpy at times. I don't know how I feel about that. Oh, I see. I have a little bit of a strip that I missed. Uh, I'll get this figured out. I'll get Green Star turned on here in a minute, and that should kind of help keep things nice and uh, nice and, and and level for me. So, oh boy, oh boy, it's just a little wibbly wobbly for me. I don't know. Is it the is it the ground? Is the ground uneven? Or maybe I need to go ahead and put in to get those uh, extra back wheels installed. I think that might be the case. I think I might need to uh, go take this, get it fitted with uh, an extra set of wheels in the back uh, just to kind of give me a little more that I can work with. All right, let's see if I can't uh, see if I can't make a call into town and see if they have some in stock. All right, guys. Uh, so that was a little bit of an expensive, uh, an expensive delivery there, but we were able to get, uh, we were able to get kind of taken care of here. Uh, we were able to get ourselves. Oh, we're not going to mess up their field, are we? By rolling onto it. Oh, yep, we are. Crop penalty destroy. Okay, yep. I'm going to need to go ahead and cut myself in a headland over here. So I'm not running over their field. What do they have in this field? Sugar beet. Okay, I, I literally, I barely grazed it. Uh, but yeah, so we uh, <laughs> we did have to spend about 10k to get this extra set of tires, but uh, I have noticed substantially less uh, wobble going on on the field. There was just a little bit of issue with Green Star. I had a small hiccup of Green Star. But I was able to get it sorted out. I just had a problem with the computer saving my data for the uh, the actual implement with. So I do have a little area back there you can kind of see where I am going to have to kind of go through and, and plant a little more seed. But that's fine. Let's go ahead 
get this down we'll get ourselves a little headling cut in here too and then we'll just kind of get back uh maybe we can get a really good time lapse going on of getting this field done which should be relatively quick seeing as how i think this is a nearly a 50 foot working width or um i think what like a little over 15 meters like 15.2 meters so we'll just cut ourselves a little headland so we can have more area to turn but this should be awesome and this should go relatively quickly i mean we're planting at 11 miles an hour and we're actually have really minimal seed usage while i'm thinking about it let me go ahead real quick uh and reset the values of my field here so i don't see i just want to be able to try to track how much it's going to actually cost for me to take care of this field so i'm planting down some oil seed that i'm going to be planting soybeans uh, i don't know if i'm going to have to come through and do uh, something about my ph in the soil or not but that remains to be seen all right this should be good and then i'll just beat feet back down the well i could actually just start on this end of the field and just kind of go that way can't i oh boy oh boy climb it climb it oh yeah look at that oh yeah <laughs> is would i recommend doing that absolutely not but we did it we're already here and we did it and we're planting yep we're planting all right yeah so i guess we can kind of time lapse a little bit here Okay, well, I mean, we kind of banged that out in no time. <laughs> that is uh, so, so much nicer than it was uh, trying to get this field prepped to begin with. I am going to have to probably come back and hit that little bit that I missed. But wow, yeah, this is significantly better than uh, what... <laughs> than, than trying to come through here and subsoil this field. My God. But to also be fair, like we have a uh, we have this cedar, which is, like I said, about 15.2 meters versus what? I think four meters. So more than three times the size. Check this bad boy out, though, man. Yeah, so I do have to come fix this little goob here. And that was just my my fault. I had an issue with uh, saving the field data to Green Star. And that was just on me, so... I'll come back and fix that little strip. My little strip of shame. Other than that, everything's looking really good out here on the farm today. Uh, not a whole lot of anything going on. Oh, wow. We actually, it looks like we got this done before we have some rain coming in, which is great. And honestly, we could probably just, uh, we could probably just come back in, probably just come back in April and see what's what. Uh, the field will be this field will be nice and grown and then the only downside is we're going to come through we're going to hit it with the disc harrow to work everything in and then you know go through planting again which is fine i am going to have to go stop into town and probably grab uh probably grab one to two bags of seed 
Or actually, let me check and see if the co-op actually sells seed in bulk before I do that. Because it could just be me making a quick trip down there with this to fill up. I could also fill up with fertilizer if I really wanted to. Uh, which I don't want to. <laughs> Although I guess I mean I could. I could. That would save me a significant amount of time. If I did go that route because I could fertilize and plant at the same time. The only downside on this guy is that I don't actually have a... Uh, I'll have the little precision farming tool that I, I would require. Hmm. Mm hmm. Well, I think what we'll do is we'll go ahead. We'll we'll, we'll check with the co-op, see if they are offering any bulk seed discounts, and then kind of figure things out from there. I might just wait, come back through the field in the uh, sixty-one fifty. Which I do have the uh, I do have the precision uh, the precision instruments uh, built into that I'll be able to kind of check things. Let's come over to here and get you cleaned off. Both of you guys cleaned off a little bit dirty. You're a little dirty. And then we'll call the co-op see if they have seed in bulk. If not seed in bulk, then I am going to need to run down there anyway with uh, the with the the fertilizer spreader, so that I can grab some more fertilizer to hit the field with. Now I did remember to reset the field about midway through my first row, so let's go ahead and we'll we'll check our system in here. To see uh, how much did we run? Let's check Green Star here. Uh, we spent one thousand three hundred and thirty-seven dollars uh, between seed, fuel, and vehicle maintenance. So that's not too bad. Um, it's a pretty large field, Field Seven. So uh, it's the biggest field that I own. It also doesn't have a whole lot of uh, <laughs> doesn't have a whole lot going for it right now. A very low uh, score at the moment which is not great. Um, yeah, this is decreasing my sale prices right now. So it is definitely something that I'm going to need to work on uh, as a whole. This is kind of bringing, dragging down all of my prices uh, because it takes the average of all of my fields. And that is my total environmental score. And so even though field 10 is doing great, uh, the other fields are doing less than stellar so that is bringing everything down quite a bit for me. But, all right, uh, yeah. So I'll go ahead and make some calls. See if we can't uh, see if we can't figure out our seed situation. And if nothing else, I do have to run out there anyway to fill up my fertilizer. So I will be back momentarily. Okay, guys, so we actually stopped here by the co-op to pick up some bulk lime. And it cost a little bit more money to pick the bulk lime up, but I guess the, the bonus to that is that I'm not having to haul bags back and forth. And really, it was only like a like $150 more to go ahead and pick this up. I know I said fertilizer. I meant lime. Uh, I'm not going to need to fertilize Field 7 because the... Uh, oilseed radish is going to grind in and then when I plant soybeans soybeans aren't going to they, they don't really have any uh, nitrogen value that they require so I just decided you know picking up lime is going to be good because I am going to need a lime field 10 I'm going to need a lime field uh, field 7 after I harvest because I plan on planting wheat in it after the fact uh, so so yeah, so we went and picked that up. I'm gonna have to stop by the uh, the farm supply store and grab a bag of seed, which is why I've got my little bag attachment here on the front of the uh, on the front of our, our tractor here. So let's uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this, drop this off down here onto the main section of the farm, and then we will move forward. 
Oh, also, also, because the cattle are making, uh, because the cattle are making uh, manure and stuff now, I went ahead and brought down a bucket full of manure so that we could get our, uh, our, our, veg our fruits, our fruits greenhouse, uh, up and running since it's just been kind of sitting here not doing anything. Uh, I need... Actually, I don't want to block my disc arrow in because I will be needing that here fairly soon for me to uh, be able to go grind all that oilseed radish in on the field. So, let's do that there. Um, and also, you know, oh, oops, <laughs> wrong, dropped the wrong piece of equipment there, budge. Uh, also, I think what I'm going to do is I am going to probably sell this uh, single uh, bag hook and go grab a double bag hook. But preemptively, I'm going to go ahead and throw this additional weight onto the back here, just so we're uh, we're able to deal with that extra weight of being of pulling two bags. But I'd rather go grab two bags of seed than a single bag of seed. So we're gonna head into town. We're gonna go ahead and grab us some seed, and then I think that's gonna be kind of a wrap for uh, for the month. So we'll uh, come back in April and see what we can get into. Okay, so we are back. We're in April here, and I just got myself another wagon worth of uh, mixed rations here for the cattle. We're just going to go ahead and get that uh, in here for them. These guys are going through about uh, six cubic meters per month feed, so I'm going to make sure that I keep them uh, nice and happy, nice and well fed. There we are. Yeah, my little moo cows. These guys are producing. Let me tell you, uh, we're already sitting at uh, at uh, 5,000 liters of milk. And we have uh, about 7,000 liters of slurry byproduct. Which is, uh, that's <laughs> it's pretty damn good. So I need to figure out kind of what I want to do with that. I think what I might do is uh, I might look at trying to get somebody out here real quick, uh, maybe in the next month or so, to pull out this uh, bunker silo. And I might be looking at instead having a uh, having something put in place here to kind of uh, work with. Uh, Get this barn closed back up here. Uh, yeah, you can see uh, we have almost 8,000 liters of slurry. Uh, but there is a new piece of equipment that I was looking at, maybe potentially having constructed out here. And that would be, I believe, under this tab. Let's check. Um, this uh, ladle sphere. Sphere. So this would uh, take and make liquid fertilizer from uh, the cow shed using um, some sulfuric acid. This would be really nice to kind of be able to put in here. Um, oh, that's actually a little too far away. I wouldn't even be able to, uh, to put it in there. Where would I be able to put this? I guess I could try for putting it over here. Kind of have this off to the side here. And then uh, I would basically just uh, use some sulfuric acid. And uh, this would help me to create some liquid fertilizer. I might actually hold off on that then. Uh, hmm. Because that's not exactly what I thought it was going to be. If I, really, if I really want to get rid of this. It's a pretty decent little bunker silo. But I'm not, uh, I don't think I'm going to be doing silage that way. I'd much rather have wrapped silage. So, I'm not entirely sure what I want to do along that route. What I might do, maybe over the course of a few months, would be to see about maybe having this, uh, the bunker silo, and maybe this smaller 
barn demolished. And then instead, in their place, um, having a different, uh, different little shed put in here, uh, there was one that I was looking at, like, uh, this bulk storage, maybe not that one. Vehicle and, uh, storage shed here. So I could store vehicles and pallets in this, uh, in this barn here, but this is quite pricey. This would be pretty nice to kind of just plop down here. I mean, I would have to kind of get rid of all three of these, wouldn't I? Uh, and that would give me a place to store my, uh, that give me a place to store my my vehicles and equipment up here, as well as to store any pallets of goods that I would have. I don't really have a whole bunch of palleted goods right now, but it could be useful. I'm not sure. There's a few different things. I mean, maybe I'll even just get rid of these things here so that I could uh, kind of get in some uh, equipment here to be able to process my own um, bio biofuel and uh, electrical production here on the the farm myself like get rid of these buildings so what I could do is get rid of these and then build kind of a smaller machine shed over here for all of my grassland care items and this should be plenty of space right here for me to set up a small uh, biogas um, kind of generation system. That would be a very long-term project because getting into uh, making my own biofuels is going to be kind of a lengthy endeavor. So I'll probably hold off on that for now. Uh, that said, we got the cattle fed. Uh, they've got quite a bit of manure here. I might go throw some more manure. Uh, yeah, I might go throw some more manure in to the uh, into the, the greenhouse over there. Let's see, what do we have here? Ooh, we got a couple things. What is this? Ooh, a manure spreader. Huh. That could actually be pretty useful since we're producing manure now. This hydro trike would be nice as well because we could use that for spreading our slurry out on the field. This holds 20,000 liters. That could be a pretty slick little set of, uh, what does this connect with, actually? Let's take a look. Oh, that. Would it be, it's probably going to be under the vehicle set, uh, because it's its own. Wow, that's normally quite expensive. Holy moly. Um, and this could connect to, that's a 6 meter spread, and that's an 18 meter spread for this Bomek track pack. Wow. That is a pretty slick looking little setup there. So, I mean, that's 62. And this sucker in here on sale is 160, so for 200 and... 220... For $225,000, I would be able to get the trike and the attachment, which would still be cheaper than buying this at that price. I don't have the money to do it. Man, that sucks. I do have the money to get this little Samson Flex, but I'm not really using a manure in, uh, in that way yet. I don't really, I'm not really producing that much yet. So I think I'll hold off on that. And it'd be really nice, though. Uh, having a manure spreader would be great. That would give me another uh, method of fertilization. But, all right, well, uh, I'm going to let the oilseed radish sit another month. Uh, May, we're going to be going and planting the soybeans in the field. So I'm going to hold off on doing anything uh, with field seven. But uh, the nice thing is, is I will be able to, uh, I'll be able to grind uh, all that in and I will be able to lime the field before I plant. 
Uh, so that's going to be good. Or I might lime the field and then grind. I'm not sure which I'm going to do first. But, uh, yeah. We will... Uh, we don't really have too much else to get done on the farm. Uh, oh, we did have our first... Uh, our first clutch of uh, baby chicks hatch. So now uh, we've got 50 mature chickens. And uh, we've got 50 chicks. So that's, that's nice. But, yeah. I think what we'll do is we'll come back... Uh, in may and we will we have a lot of plenty of stuff to do uh our grass field will be ready to be tended to which will be great we can use our new pottinger uh baylor wrapper combo and uh we'll uh we'll also be doing all the field work on field seven so that will all be a ton of fun lots of stuff to get done um all right let's back this up or okay. <laughs> Alright, I'll catch you guys in May. Alright, I know this isn't the most OSHA-approved way of doing things, but uh, we finally had enough eggs uh, to be able to sell, and we had a lot of lettuce because I completely forgot uh, that I had lettuce in my greenhouse. So, uh, let's go make ourselves a little hefty buck, shall we? Now, this should be a pretty decent little sale of product here. So, a couple thousand dollars, hopefully. Let's see. Big money, no whammies. Hey, I'll take that. $3,300? That ain't bad. That's nothing to sneeze at. All right, uh, we'll be back. Uh, we'll be back in in April, like I or we'll be back in May, like I said. Uh, we'll be back in May, and we'll get we'll start getting getting going on our crops. Okay, it is the merry month of May. <laughs> Look at that! I'm, I'm a poet, and I didn't even know it. We're gonna go ahead and get all this oilseed radish ground into the. Uh, field here and then i think we're gonna grind the soil the oilseed radish in then we're gonna come back and uh i don't know if i want to try to mess around with the uh with the ph of the field or, or not yeah, yeah the ph of the field or not uh i'm not sure we don't have any soil data so i'm not quite sure what the levels are at but uh we're gonna go ahead and grind in this oilseed radish get that going and, um, and yeah, that should be good. As far as our grass field goes, field 11, I'm actually going to let that grow out an extra month. It is ready to harvest now, but if I go ahead and harvest it in June, I'm actually going to get a bump to the yield. So, uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead, get this headland pass, a couple headlands done, and then we are going to uh, get this field taken care of, come back with the cedar, plant soybeans, and I think that'll be I think that'll be good for us. That'll basically this is gonna just be what we're doing here for the month. So uh, let's get to it. There ain't nothing to it but to do it. Go ahead and get this started. And I think how do I want? I think you know what we're gonna go ahead and get a green star activated. Get that all set up. Do a couple passes up and down the field. And I think we'll just be again doing this field from uh, from north to south. So. All right, get Green Star on, and let's get our first point here marked. And here we go. All right, that should be good. And I'm going to go ahead and stop that here. Let's get our width set correctly for this. And this is field seven. And this is our arrow. We'll go ahead and save that. 
and let's check and make sure that our lines are good. Why are our lines facing that way? Our lines should not be facing that way. Uh, we have a technical difficulties again. Why is the case? Let's not field ten wheel. Field seven harrow. That's what we're working with here. Thank you. But let's go ahead and auto with that. I should not have. Yeah, I shouldn't have an offset. All right, there we go. There we go. That looks like it's right. We will go ahead and write that in. Get that saved into Green Star. And get that going. All right. We figured it out. We figured it out, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and just start processing the field. And I think what we'll do is we'll go ahead and get a little bit of a time lapse going. So it looks nice. All right, so it looks like we're not going to... Fingers crossed, it doesn't look like we're going to have like a little tiny strip of shame here. But, uh... Come on, please. Be right. <laughs> Prove right. Don't be a little tiny strip of shame. Yes! Oh, awesome. Uh, I do want to look into getting a slightly larger disc harrow, though, just because I, you know, I probably have the horsepower now to pull it. I didn't quite have it with the, uh, with our 7R, but with this, uh, with this 9 series here, I definitely think I could pull something. I mean, I know I can pull something bigger, so that's probably going to be something that I save up some money towards. But yeah, I mean, this is looking good. Uh, the field looks good. We've got all this oil seed ground in. That's going to be a nice green fertilizer. Um, that's going to help bring up our, our nitrogen in a natural way, which I like. I don't mind using fertilizers and stuff like that, but, uh, like, I definitely would like to kind of go more of the organic route. That's why I would like to continue to, you know, grow my cattle herd and everything so we can get 
more uh, more slurry, more uh, more manure and stuff like that out here on the field. Just stuff that's better for the field. But yeah, all right. So we have this all now nice and neatly cultivated. Uh, and I think what I'm going to do, I'm not sure if I want to come out here and lime or not, or if I just want to come out here and plant soybeans and then just have that be a thing where, you know, soybeans have been planted out in the field and uh, I don't have to worry about, oh, let's see. Uh, I don't have to worry about liming quite yet. I'm not sure. I have a full, you know, I have a full fertilizer spreader of lime, so it's not like I don't have it on hand. I just don't know. With the size of this field, I have no idea what I'm going to be looking at as far as uh, consumption. But I have a feeling that it's probably going to be a little bit of a pain, and I'm probably going to have to make multiple trips down to the uh, down to the the co-op to pick up more lime. If anything, what I probably should do should be to look into uh, having a some sort of a storage silo for uh, field care built here on the farm. I might try to make a few calls around, see if I can uh, get some good pricing on it or not. It's just you know. The money's going to go quick. That's the thing. I have money right now, but that's got to last me for the rest of the year. And if there's any decent stuff that pops up in the sales uh, at the uh, at the John Deere distributor, uh, I just I want to be able to I want to be able to like if there's something I truly want that's going to be necessary, like not really necessary, but something that's going to improve the efficiency or quality of life here on the farm. I definitely want to pick that up instead of having to hold off on it let's go ahead and get this uh get this cultivator sprayed up nice and neat there we are i'm not too terribly worried about uh about cleaning the the tractor man look at that that paint is worn on here that's fine though this thing's been getting its getting its use I think we put a couple of hours of operation time on the tractor too, which isn't too bad, you know. Uh, but yeah, so we had emptied out this uh, this Cortiva um, fertilizer out, or leftover fertilizer there in our um, in our spreader, and we have a spare bag of seed over here. We have another bag here ready to load up the Amazon. So let's go ahead get this guy put away, and then we'll grab the Amazon out. We'll get it loaded, and I think we're just gonna go out and seed. I think we're I think we'll hold off on spreading lime. Uh, I think I think we'll let the lime. Well, no, because I'm gonna want to go through and. Uh, okay, no, we're gonna spread lime. We're gonna spread lime. I was gonna say I do, I want to go through and. Uh, um, plant. Well, actually, no, I can't. I can just straight plant because I don't have to fertilize. You see, my brain, scatter brain, scatter brain farmer fudge. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and get that Amazon pulled out, and we will uh, we'll come back when we're over by the the field getting ready. All right, so we're actually running a little little behind schedule today. I don't know if we're necessarily gonna get out here and get the fields planted in time. Let's see, pass my sunscreen fade there. How far off of it? Not too far. All right. Go ahead and raise the. Up, just trying to get some seed in the cart here. Should be, yeah, just about over it. Alright, that up a little bit more. Shift one fell. Actually, I think I gotta go a little bit more rearward here. The wrong spot. So, huh. Okay, yeah, I'm still just a smidge off. Reach up a little bit there. Yeah, there we go. All right, we'll get that all filled in. That should be good. We should have more than enough seed. Ooh, get out there. I think we're, yep, yeah, there we go. We should be topped up. All right. Go ahead and uh, 
It's all all right. You know, I think we can do it. I think we can get out on the field. I think we can get it done. Let me just go ahead and get this guy back in. Gonna get him out of the way. We'll go hit the field here. This tractor off. Everything's good. All right. All right, let's, uh, what do I want to do this? Probably going to want to cut at least a headland around the whole field. That way I have some turning space. All right, yeah, let's, let's get on that. We should be planting soybean. I'm pretty sure uh, that's where we're at on this is uh, putting soybean down. Oh, it would help if I also close my uh, my my access loop. <laughs> oh, whoopsies. Uh, let's see. What are we good? Okay, yeah, our seed hopper is looking good. These other two hoppers here are actually for um, for solid fertilizer. So, all right, climb on down, get that closed up, and I guess we're gonna go ahead and hit the field. All right, we're almost done with this field, and man, this has been a uh, been a late one. We had to grab the we had to grab the uh, the sixty one fifty and refill our seed tank about halfway through the field. So thankfully, you know, I'm happy I bought extra seed and brought that onto the farm. Uh, I think this is pretty much gonna be it uh, for today. Well, I mean, obviously, but uh, I think we'll, we'll end up coming back in June possibly july i don't have too much more field work that's going to be done i think i'm gonna have to come through here with the weeder uh in the morning and kind of kind of be a little proactive with weeding and so that we have kind of you know give the crops their best chance of survival here but and yeah, we're almost done we just have one little tiny pass that we have to make yet still just over here and then we will be finished but yeah burning that midnight oil you know <laughs> Sometimes you got to do what you got to do. Go ahead and get the rest of this cleared here. But yeah, not too bad. We put a put a lot of seed into this field here. If we can actually go ahead and take a look here. Um, so we put in... Put in over four grand worth of seed. Four grand. Four thousand dollars worth of seed went into this field. Between this and the oilseed radish. So, I have to remember that we did put oilseed radish in. So, yeah. I mean, that's still, you know, quite a chunk of change, though, that went into the field. Now, you know, compared to real life, uh, not nearly as much. <laughs> I know, I know guys that have, you know, put like $30,000 worth of seed into their fields, but also not, you know, 11 hectares. So, hectares. Actually, what is the size of this? This is field seven. This is oh, it doesn't have it in acres. All right, 
Well, I think we're pretty much done with the field here. Like I said, we're going to go ahead and get everything put away. And I will catch you guys uh, in a month or so. We can go ahead and do some progress. Do some more stuff here on the farm. Actually, I know next month I need to go hit my grass field, field 11. So, uh, yeah, we'll be back next month and we can, we can play around with the new baler. That'll be awesome. All right. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I do appreciate it. If uh, you haven't had the chance to yet already, please uh, consider like, comment, and subscribing. 85% of my viewers are not subscribed to the channel, and in order to reach that goal of 1,000 subs by the end of the year, I, I literally I can't do it without you. So if you hit that sub, that'd be awesome. Uh, yeah. Other than that, I will see you guys here on our Iowa Plains farm in the next, uh, next video. As always, I'm Fudge Dice Roll. Take care of yourselves, uh, and have a good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever and whenever you are. Fudge Dice Roll, signing off.